Okay, here's your review from your swim at Columbus School for Girls last week. First thing I'd like to mention is make sure that every time you push off the wall, you get your hands into a streamlined position, put one hand over the top of the other, and have your head uh, squeezed by your arm, your biceps, so you can get a little bit better push off the wall, get a little bit more momentum. Um, the very first thing I want to mention is the head position. Your head is up a, a little bit too high. You're looking forward slightly, which causes your hips to drop. You'll see a better view at the end of this line. And we want to make sure that when you're breathing, as you can see right back here, that you keep at least one goggle in the water. So right now you can see here you've got both goggles um, out of the water. You want to keep one goggle out of the water as you rotate your head and body to breathe. So a couple things to work on. Head position slightly down getting the hips up a little bit higher, and trying to keep one goggle in the water as you breathe and not over-rotating. So you'll see right here as you're about to pass, see how far below the surface of the water your hips are. We want to get those hips up a little higher. Um, you can also see when you're kicking your legs how bent your legs are. You're kicking from the knees, it's kind of doing like a bicycle kick, and we'd like to kick from the hip flexors. It's tough if you don't have the right ankle mobility. So something that will really help you is stretching out your ankles um, to kind of get a little bit better range of motion and making sure you're not kicking from the knees. When you kick from the knees, uh, you create more drag, and it makes it a little bit tougher for you to, to go through the water. Uh, I really like the uh, high elbow on the recovery. Um, we want to make sure that, you, again, you're reaching out in front of the shoulder, uh, the fingers look nice and relaxed. You don't want to squeeze them together. You have a nice relaxed um, space between your, your fingers. And you can see right here in the top view how much you're bending those legs. Um, probably a really good drill to do is just kicking with your hands on the side of the pool, just trying to kick really fast, but kick with, a, with less knee bend and floppy ankles. So we'll get to see you come back here again. Uh, the foot turn was a great attempt. Um, I would suggest trying those foot turns, working on getting a good, good breath going into the wall, and then exhaling after you push off the wall. It's going to make your swimming practices more efficient. Um, on the underwater part of the pool, as you can see right here, your arm is collapsing a little bit too much in. You want to keep that arm at about 90 degrees, and that's on both sides. So you're pulling a little too close to the, so almost trying to extend that hand down towards the bottom of the pool a little bit more, keeping those fingertips down. But I think the biggest thing to work on right now is body position and breathing, kicking. You know, getting a more efficient kick, a little bit less bicycle kick. Uh, better body position will make swimming a lot easier and more enjoyable. Flip turn, again, another great attempt, but again, I wouldn't worry about it right now. Um, just maybe the last five minutes of practice just doing some approaches to the wall doing a flip and seeing how quickly you can get those feet over and then working from there this is a great side view here you can see how the hips are below the surface but if we get those up you're going to create a lot less drag so hopefully the visual has really helped you out if you have any questions let me know uh, best of luck to you at your clinic tomorrow and uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you at another one of my clinics here soon.